Roberts in a new A&E two-part nonfiction special. The biggest reasons why I want to share my story in this way is because I have met so many other survivors, so many other victims who can't share their story. I am Elizabeth Smart. That premieres Saturday, November 18th. There's another special that comes up before that this weekend, the 12th and 13th. But joining us now with a preview is the woman herself, Elizabeth Smart. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we happened to receive a screener of the, the shows that are coming up this weekend. And the thing that struck me the most, Elizabeth, is just you. It's just a close-up on your face, and you're telling your story. My question is, how difficult was it for you to get to that point where you were comfortable enough to tell your story with just you on camera? Well, I don't think I would have been comfortable enough had I decided to do it the day after I got home or even the year after I got home. I think I think I needed time to move on with my life, to experience more of life, to start working in advocacy and realizing that it actually really is important for me to share my story because so many victims out there, they aren't able to share their story. And the truth of the matter is, is that what happened to me is not so unique. I mean, rape and kidnapping, it happens all the time, all around us. And I felt like this was a good opportunity to share that, share my story, to give people who haven't experienced sexual violence in any form or, or kidnapping an idea of what it is like when you go through that, what it is like to have your world come crashing down all around you. So hopefully when they meet their friends and family that do experience violence in their life, that they can be understanding and supportive and sympathetic towards them instead of questioning them, well, why didn't you run? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Because the survivor most likely won't hear the question. Right. They'll actually feel like it's an accusation, like you should have done more, you should have ran, you should have tried harder. And no survivor deserves that. Oh, absolutely. Right. Uh, it was incredible to watch and, and hear you in your own words tell and be so honest and raw. And, uh, you know, so we, we spoke to a survivor from the Las Vegas students just yesterday and just talking about, you know, some people go through these traumatic experiences and really never get past it. You know, how did you, how were you able to move forward and get to where you are now and living just a, a wonderful life now? Well, I'm going to say something that's going to be crazy. That's going to sound crazy at least, okay. but I am so grateful that the people that kidnapped me and raped me and abused me for so long, I'm so grateful that they were strangers because the majority of abuse that goes on, the majority of kidnappings that go on come from the family, come from someone that you know, someone that you trust. And I know I wouldn't be where I am today if that had happened to me. If I had had that kind of betrayal at that level, if, my, if it had been a family member that had abused me, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today because what happened to me uh, was from a stranger. I was able to come home to an intact, loving, supportive family that helped me move forward in my life and helped me heal. And so many survivors, they don't get to come home to that. They come home to a divided family. They come home to people questioning them. Well, I know that, you know, uncle so-and-so would never do that. I know that that's not possible. You're lying. You're making it up. And that in and of itself can feel just as bad as the actual abuse. So I'm grateful that what happened to me was from strangers. And so many of us and the viewers and people out there are grateful that you were able to come through the experience and be like you are on this side. Your, your strength and your resolve and your courage is absolutely amazing and inspiring. Really Elizabeth Smart, thank you so much for your time. And of course, the Elizabeth Smart autobiography is coming up November 12th and 13th on A&E. And then there'll be I Am Elizabeth Smart coming up the week after that on the 18th. Elizabeth, thank you so much for your time thank this you. morning. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. I'm telling you, her strength, even so young, at such right. a young age. Well, we're watching just... that screener, and I'm just looking at her face, and she's talking about the details mm -hmm. of what happened. And I'm, it's amazing to me. I'm just blown away that she can, she's so composed, and she made it through, and the way right. she is now mm -hmm. is amazing. Very incredible. Use your shoes to stand out from the crowd. New at 7, how to get your feet in a custom.